Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, we covered the class A addresses. Next up is class B. So class B addresses were originally assigned to medium to large sized networks. With class B, it's the first two bits in the address are always going to be set to one zero. Class A addresses default to a slash eight, which is the first octet. Class B subnet masks always default to a slash 16, which is the first two octets. And the valid network addresses range from 128.0.0.0 to 191.255.0.0. Again, this is a class B. The subnet mask is the first two octets, so the ranges use the first two octets. So 128.0 to 191.255. That allows for 16,384 networks and 65,534 hosts on each of those networks. Again, you would never have a flat subnet with up to 65,000 hosts in there. If you were given a class B network in the real world, again, you would subnet it into smaller subnets. The last class that we'll cover here, the last one that can be used to assign addresses to hosts is class C. And this is used for small networks. You saw that class A, we've got the first octet, so slash 8, is used for the subnet mask. Class B, the second octet, it's a slash 16. And with class C, the default subnet mask is a slash 24, up to the end of the third octet. And with class C, it's the first three bits that are important. They're always set to binary 110. The valid network addresses range from 192.0.0.0 to 223.255.255.0. .0 .0 .0 .0 .0. That allows for a little over 2 million networks and 254 hosts per network. That's something that you're going to know by heart later on. A Class C network has got 254 hosts up to that amount. With a Class C, that's small enough that that could be allocated as is for a real world deployment. Or again, if we wanted to, we could actually subnet that into smaller networks as well. A quick note on private addresses now. So I gave you all the addresses that were available in our class A, B, and C networks. And we spoke about the reserved addresses for our loopbacks and also the, the, zero, the addresses beginning with zero are reserved as well. There's also a range of reserved private addresses in each class. Those are valid to be assigned to hosts, unlike the other reserved addresses, but the difference is that these ones are not routable on the public internet. So these were originally designed for hosts in a closed private network that should have no internet connectivity. For example, imagine you've got a high school and you've got students there that need to work on PCs, but you don't want them to be able to browse the internet you would put them on private addresses. The benefits you get from that are that they can't get hacked because they're not connected to the internet. And also it doesn't cost you anything. You have to pay for public IP addresses. Private IP addresses are of course free. The different ranges that are used for our private addresses in class A, it's 10.0.0.0 to 10.255.255.255 on the host addresses. The private host addresses in class B, 172.16.0.0 to 172.16.31.255 and the class C private range 192.168.0.0 to 192.168.255.255. Again, when you're experienced with working and networking, these are things that you're going to know off the top of your head. Private addresses, there's quite a bit more we need to talk about with those. That's going to be covered in a later lecture in this section. Okay, so that was all the info I needed to give you about our class A, B, and C classes for now. We'll talk about the class D and class E addresses in the next lecture. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad-free, 
right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.